Uh, I think the base of the Democratic Party is completely outraged. I think many in the middle and independents are completely outraged. Because if you look at the USAM, which is the United States Attorney's Manual, which governs the conduct of everybody from the FBI to the Attorney General and everybody in the Department of Justice, you see the Director Cuomo, he violated policy back when he made this announcement. Of July, he violated it again, testifying in front of Congress, and then he violated it again last Friday. And we had this information for a month, and so people are outraged, and they're not outraged with uh, with, with with Hillary Clinton. They're outraged with Director Cuomo for coming forward with absolutely nothing. I, and I know that you're going to ask questions as we proceed, but just be cautious in filling this void that Director Comey has left with innuendo. It, it, that's unfair to the American people. We have no idea what they are. And for Director Comey to come out and say they may or may not be significant 11 days out from an election is absurd. It is the biggest error of any administration official since George Tenet told George W. Bush that WMDs were a slam dunk. It's not a criminal arrest warrant. Corey, what they got was a search warrant. And through the metadata, they found information or they found emails that may go through the Clinton server. And so we do not know what's in them. And the, the tragedy in doing this 11 days out is that we're not talking about issues. I mean, it, this is a blessing. This is manna from heaven for the Trump campaign because we're no longer talking about the women who've come out and say he sexually assaulted him. We're no, lo no longer talking about the fact he hasn't turned in his tax returns. We're no longer making this election about what it has been, which is the temperament to be commander in chief? Which and this, none of those this are criminal now, issues. None of those are criminal issues. Sexual assault, line, sexual assault bottom, is a criminal is issue, Corey. The, the bottom line is <laughs> this: whether it's 11 days before or one day before, the American people have a right to know if the vice chairman of the Clinton campaign, who is quote like a second daughter to us, has violated any laws. The, the American I people agree. have a right to know that. No, no, no. I agree. You know what? Uh, the American public deserve to know if she's violated any laws, but the American public does not, to be, does not deserve to be left in the dark with something that may or may not happen. My good friend Matt Lewis attempted to make an analogy. I thought it was false, so I would add to it. He said, is it okay if you throw a flag in the final quarter of the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl? And I said, it is, but you simply cannot throw that flag if it may or may not be a penalty. And that's what the FBI's done. It may or may not be a penalty. And, and we're sitting here talking about facts that we just simply do not know. And now we're eight days out from an election and it completely it, it handicaps Hillary Clinton but she's going to press forward and her supporters are too